This gospel reading is challenging and it requires much more attention than we can give it here in these few moments of reflection. However, let me kind of spend a few moments to summon from inside of this gospel a teaching which might be uh, of value to us. The presumption is there's lots and lots of commentary written on this gospel. And if this is all we had in the whole gospels, we'd all, most of us would be in big trouble. Um, the presumption is the person who asked Jesus, will many be saved, was Jewish. This was one, a Pharisaical person living in the Jewish tradition. And of course, in the Jewish tradition, they all believed that all of the people of Israel would be saved. They were God's chosen people, and therefore they would all be saved. And Jesus says, not so. Not everybody. You can't presume that you will be saved. The door is narrow. You have to be called. Jesus, in other places, calls himself the gate. He is the shepherd, and he is the gate. You enter through him into the kingdom. Therefore, he's he says, you can't presume to enter the kingdom of God. You have a relationship with Jesus Christ. These are the ones that were called. He is the gate. And the gate is narrow in the sense that you have to go through him. You can't presume to enter the kingdom of God. Now, what this kind of teaches us? It teaches us that somehow we have to connect with Jesus Christ. It's the first teaching. And the second teaching, we can't presume to enter the kingdom of God. It requires sacrifice. It requires effort. It requires a certain connection with the Lord. But it's also good for us to teach us about our friendships. We shouldn't impose ourselves and presume that people will be our friends. We have to connect with them. We have to sacrifice. You have to be humble. You have to ask people rather than presume. We go through so many experiences in life where we're presuming that we are accepted. We have to ask. We have to petition. We have to be humble. Even when you're in recess, don't just stay with your own friends. Invite somebody else in. There are other people who would, like to be, who would like to belong to you. So keep that in mind. Even today, when you go to recess today, make sure you invite a new person into your friends. Just don't stay with the people that are closest to you or your closest friends. Make a new friend today. Invite somebody. You are the gate. You are the one that invites people into uh, your friendship. We keep this in mind. Jesus Christ is the gate. We have to enter the kingdom of God through Jesus Christ. We don't presume. We don't think just because we keep the law and because we follow all the commandments, that's access to the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ is access to the kingdom of God. The forgiveness of Jesus, the compassion of Jesus, the understanding of Jesus, that's access to the kingdom of God. Not those who say we have kept the law, we belong to the chosen people, and therefore we will be invited into the kingdom of God. But for us today, I think we need to be grateful for the kindness of people to us. Don't presume I mean, we just presume all the time that the other person is going to show up and the other person is going to do things for us and going to be there for us. It's good for us not to take on this presumption that we are going to enter the kingdom of God. We have to be humble about it, and we have to ask. Pause now for a moment of prayer. And we pray especially that we'll journey through this day cheerfully and gratefully.
for the many ways in which God has blessed us, to share the blessings God has given to us.